yeah. every bar we put our hearts into these raps and every time we don't seem to receive something back we just remind uh, are you two like a couple together oh okay all right we're, we're actually it's a be funny couple yeah, yeah. okay um so yeah just asking you guys how you two met each other uh, yeah, so I'm originally from Toronto and he was living in New York and we had a mutual Paris. friend. Yeah, he's from Paris. And uh, we had a mutual friend. I went for a weekend to visit New York and we met and that was it. <laughs> so, did, did you meet, do you, like, say, like your previous relationship, did you also meet them in the same way, like through a social circle? Or was uh, it? Uh, yes. <laughs> on my side, that's my first serious relationship. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> So did you used to use like Tinder or like how, how did you used to meet people like back in the day before you joined each other? Uh, dating apps, I, yeah, I, was, dating I was on bars, Tinder. Yeah. We were seeing uh, through friends. Yeah. Can I ask you something? If yeah. you had met each other, yeah. like say through Tinder or say yeah. as a bar, mm -hmm. would that have like made any difference towards your relationship or how you would have like perceived each other? Or how, how you would have I think it was helpful at least just having a mutual friend in common. So if we were to maybe meet in a bar randomly one night, perhaps the circumstance would be different. But I think we still would have felt the same way. But yeah. so how did you two first meet each other then? Well, I moved to Amsterdam. Oh yeah. And I was wiping on the dating apps as you do <laughs> when I came across this fine gentleman. Oh nice. So technically we met on the app, but we didn't start talking on the app. Oh. I found his Instagram handle yeah. in the profile and Oh he had a good Instagram. No, his, yeah. his Instagram was terrible. Yeah, it's <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah. I still don't know why I sent him a message, but I did. Oh you messaged him first. I yeah. did. The funny thing is I looked at her Instagram and she has quite a following on Instagram, so oh, right, I yeah. was like, okay, this is a, is this a big deal or anything? So I think he thought oh, it yeah. was catfishing. I didn't actually realize that it was just a big deal and so oh, nice. Yeah. Nice following, so. yeah, it's weird that you decided to a week later to send me a message on Instagram. And then because uh, I never saw her, her message on the on the dating app. Oh, okay, yeah. So you have to pay to see the messages. And see. Which app was it then? Inner Circle. Inner Circle, I don't know. In the UK. Well, it's, it's very Dutch heavy. Oh, you're, you're heard from heard Holland, right? Yeah. Oh, nice, yeah. Yeah, no, I know Tinder, Hinge, uh, Bumble, all you guys using it out there, yeah. yeah. Join Inner Circle, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you messaged him first and then he just sort of like went out on the date in Amsterdam, yeah. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah. 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 Now my Instagram looks a lot better. <laughs> it does. That's good. Do you, um, yeah, do you judge guys a lot by their Instagram, like if they don't have enough followers? Really follow not. <laughs> because his was really bad. So no, that's that's more kind of my thing. I don't, I don't care. You don't care about the followers and all that. No, no, no. no I have 300. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, guys, don't care about the Instagram, yeah. yeah it's, it's fine. Have, right. Maybe maybe look at her. Have, have, <laughs> have a couple good photos. Yeah. Yeah. So how did you two first meet them? Uh, through a couple of friends, we were just part of a bigger group. And oh, nice. We weren't like yeah. keen on each other at first because we were really young. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. We were on each other. But you just made him to me. So you, you liked him, but he was kind of ignoring you in the yeah. beginning? Yeah, we're a little bit. Yeah, 13. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah, and um, so sort of like social circle. Yeah. yeah friends exactly, of exactly friends exactly of friends, like yeah. uni and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, yeah. It's like 12. <laughs> oh, wow, 12. So you've been going out a long time. Yeah, yeah, but... I say so. I say yeah. so. Nice. Where are you two from then? Uh, Romania. Both of us. Uh, Bucharest, is it? Uh, not no, really. No, you no, probably no. don't know the city, but... Eastern part. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. So, guys, social circles. That's the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, a lot of people, we, you know, they're using online dating apps, you know. Hinge, Bumble, uh, Tinder, this kind of stuff. Yeah. We both tried that. But <laughs> it, does, it wasn't good, or no, yeah. no, 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 that's all. More of a like, you know, jokingly. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, any advice for the guys out there who want to meet girls? Like, what would you recommend? Trust. Just, just, and just wait for it. I don't know. <laughs> just wait for it. Yeah. All right. So yeah. That's like what. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, just wait for them, and they'll come to you. Uh, 
you know, you just see random couples, they're normally going to meet through their social circles and they do seem quite happy with each other. So obviously social circles definitely work, they can work and they definitely do work. And, you know, would, would we recommend social circles? Not particularly. Well, obvi no. obviously we would. We would. No, if, I mean, no, if, yeah, if, yeah. if there's a, a girl that you like in the I know, social circle. I obviously circles. do it. I'm not... But, yeah. Yeah, a it's lot like, of guys don't have it though. That's exactly. Thing. Yeah, they don't have a massive social circle. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, you know, if you happen to have that nice girl, that hot girl, that's that's into you, and she's you're into her, she's into you, then by all means, go for that girl in the social circle. But obviously, not everyone's that lucky, and that's the, that's the thing, really. Yeah, um, you, you know, you don't want to be relying on it. You. you you, you want to have that skill set where you can just see a girl in public and you just approach her and see what happens. Because those guys we interviewed, like, I would like to think if that girl wasn't in their social circle, would they still have got her? I don't think they would have, to be honest. Yeah. Like, if she's just walking down the street. But they did say that if... The, I asked the girl uh, if they had met, like, in public, like, on the street or in a bar or something like that in public, would have that have made any difference to her perception of the guy oh, or, right. or the beginning of the relationship and she said no that would have been okay we would have still been together we still would have been happy that's totally fine exactly so that that's the key thing really that you can actually uh, basically you know do a uh, approach in public and it, it, it's not gonna like you know affect you it, it could be an opportunity to meet that really attractive girl and she might be really into you so it's definitely worth doing you know, it's worth it. Because otherwise, you know, most guys, when it comes to social circle, how many options do they have? Maybe, Maybe four. Five. Four if they're lucky, you know. <laughs> exactly. it's, a, it's just, yeah, it's just limiting yourself. And she might not be single, she might not be She's into you. She's got a lot of other guys as well. She'll have circle. a million other girl, guys that you're competing with as well. It's, a, yeah, it's just, it's, the odds are not in your favour. And that's, that's the beauty of doing something like day game where you can play the odds more in your favour. And yeah. uh, just approach more, basically. Cheers for watching. If you'd be interested in one-to-one -one coaching with me where we'll go out in public and work on your approaching girls, or more generally with your social confidence, please visit my website head-game.com. hearts into these rats and every time we don't seem to receive something back we just remind ourselves of those that's lying on wax